what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be cooking a whole chicken four and a half pounds in the foodie let me get it washed off and I'm going to show you what we're cooking it with all right today's ingredients with the chicken first off I got my chicken shit seasoning I got my McCormick's uh, ground pepper. I have my McCormick's uh, roasted uh, chicken seasoning. And I'm also going to be putting some spray butter on it before I put my seasonings on. Also, what I'm going to do is chop up some of this onion and stuff it inside the chicken. Uh, let's get started. All right, first I'm gonna start with uh, spray butter. I'm gonna spray the joker up real good. I was gonna use olive oil, but I said I might as well get my butter on this thing. You can you can use either one, either or. I think I'm gonna start with my roasted chicken seasoning. Sprinkle it on there. Try to get it on both sides if you can. See that butter running off that chicken? Alright. Now I'm going to hit it with my chicken shit. We'll come back and hit some of that roast on that back side too before I put it in. Pat that mug in there a little bit. <laughs> All right. And let me wash my hands off of this black pepper. There's my towel. Just a little bit of black pepper, not a lot. And let me get my onions cut up guys and stuff it inside there, we'll be ready. All right guys, we got the onions cut up, chicken in a pressure cooker, season it a little bit more. And what we're gonna do first is pressure cook it. See there, we line up the notches there. Turn it on, pressure. Temp, we're gonna do at 25 and start it. Let the pressure build up for a little. And uh, after we pressure cook it for 25 minutes, we're gonna air fry it, get that crisp Walmart, Costco, Winn-Dixie, you name wherever you get your roasted chicken from. That's how you get that look on it with the air fryer, what we're gonna do next. All right guys, let the 25 minutes go by and we'll show you what's next. Guys, I forgot something. Forgot the most important ingredient. I damn but lie. This is gonna be a beer roasted chicken. How did I forget that? It only takes about a cup. Get that back on, back sealed, and pressure. Back up to 25. Man, that smells good already. That's crazy. And start. How did I forget that, guys? All right, rest of that beer is for me. Let's get it cooked. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, the chicken is done on the pressure side, like always. Then it off. Wait for your red dial to drop before you open it. 
been about a minute and we'll get to the next process all right guys red tab is down turn it open and voila man it looks, it looks and smells good what i gotta do now is drain the juices off of it and then we're gonna pressure cook it let me get it drained off all right guys got the juice drained off see how that legs pull it back off the top that lets you know the chicken is done but we're gonna get it crisp like like I told you before Walmart and Walgreens and doggone Costco all right I've got the crisp ball we're gonna go 390 and we're gonna go 18 minutes on this um, you gotta remember too with, with the crisp you can open the lid up and down so you can check on it so probably about 8 minutes in I'm gonna look at it show you guys how it looks be back alright we're at 7 minutes until it's done man it's turning on me Exactly what I wanted. Alright, let's let it finish up. I'll show you guys that finished product. Alright, the chicken is done. Something I didn't do on the ribs was show you guys that it was done and show you how tender it is coming out of this ninja. But watch this leg. We got a rule of thumb and food stuff. If you could twist that leg. <laughs> it's done look at there Jesus Christ I'm gonna break this leg off yes sir it's good guys it's good All right, I'm gonna put it back in the warmer till it's time to eat but that's how you cook a four to five pound chicken guys and the ninja foodie don't forget to comment like and subscribe see you next time